As far as oiling a fingerboard goes, you can make an, a pretty close parallel to building an engine. Okay, when you put an engine together, you put it together with something called assembly lube, which is like a real heavy, viscous, sticky grease. And so you coat a camshaft or all these parts with it to make sure that the first time you fire it up, everything was slippery and moving. You're not gonna do an oil change with that again. You're gonna use something a lot lighter, a lot thinner, a lot less intense than boiled linseed oil. So we use boiled linseed oil on the fingerboard and the bridge when we build the guitar. But we're starting with a piece of raw ebony that's just been sanded, shaped, buffed down. Like, it's been worked on, it's a raw piece of wood. That boiled linseed oil is actually a drying finish. It'll sit down in there, it takes a while, but it does dry, it polymerizes, and that's a thing. So if you continue to use boiled linseed oil from time to time, you're not really gonna see any harm to the guitar. It's just more intense than what you really need to do. So if you overdo it, you're gonna build up more sludge and gunk around the frets, you'll cover, cover up the inlays, you'll build up a fin actual finish on that fingerboard. So if you're gonna use boiled linseed oil, it's fairly infrequent. You're gonna do it once in a blue moon when you really wanna clean the guitar up. Maybe if you do a fret dress or you're setting the guitar up, yeah, that's cool to do. But for most of the time, we make a fingerboard oil that's really good, it's a nice cleaner. It's, it's more of a conditioner. It's not really like a thick, penetrating, heavy oil. It's more, that's more like doing an oil change for your fingerboard. So that's a nice way to keep the fingerboard clean and grime-free to help clean some of the finger marks off and whatnot.